In 2019, on a street in Saigon called Wing Wei, Beng Nghe, is a place called the Aoyai Museum. It's very sunny in Saigon. In the Aoyai Museum, there is a brand new exhibit where you can look and touch the velvety silk and see the texture of the Aoyai. An Aoyai is a long sleeve tunic with silk trousers worn underneath. The trousers have panels in the front and in the back, which are ankle length. The cultural history behind Aoyai is very important. It is important to the Vietnamese people because it leaves a deep impression on foreigners and Vietnamese beauty. People say that it was required to be worn by southern courtiers. By the decree of Lord Nguyen Phuc Quat, Nguyen Van, the owner of an Aoyai museum, said, so, uh, I think it's very difficult to tell uh, you uh, uh, when Vietnamese people started wearing Aoyai, because uh, maybe it uh, started a thousand years ago. Aoyai is now very traditional and is worn on special occasions. Silkworms are a big part of Aoyai, because without the silkworm silk, Aoyai couldn't be made. Silkworms originally came from northern China, Korea, and Japan. But somehow, Vietnamese people found out their self how to produce silkworms in Vietnam. To make Aoyai, first gather the cocoons of silkworms, then boil the cocoons. Once the silkworm cocoon is done boiling, it is spun into silk and colored with fabric paint. Silkworms could become extinct if they are not sustained in Vietnam. If this happened, Aoyai makers would have to travel abroad to other countries like China to get them. They would have to use more of their money purchasing silkworms from them. So they would have to raise the prices of making the Aoyai, as well as the prices of pre-made Aoyai. People would most likely not want to buy the Aoyai because it would be too expensive. If the Aoyai makers find out the threats, there are multiple ways for them to sustain Aoyai, and here are some of them. They can introduce Aoyai to lots of foreigners from around the world. They might be very interested in Aoyai because of their unique pattern and their unique design. The Aoyai makers could also tell others how important Aoyai is to Vietnamese culture. Lastly, more Aoyai shops can be built in Saigon. Not many people recognize the Aoyai shops here. If there are less shops with Aoyai, that will make Aoyai less recognizable. If there are more shops built, it's most likely people will recognize Aoyai more. In reality, Aoyai is still very stylish and popular to Vietnamese people. The people of Vietnam love to wear Aoyai, and they will keep on wearing them for a while. We want you to spread the word about Aoyai and see if you can help sustain Aoyai too. At this point, Aya is still holding strong, and it should stay like that for a while. Let's keep this traditional Vietnamese dress alive.